Hey folks, I'm here. So I get a lot of questions about what metrics I use to look at subnets, to evaluate them. Uh, and it's a big list, but I was thinking last night that there is really one metric I look at which immediately hard hard passes uh, a subnet. So if I, I check these two metrics and if it's really bad on, on these two met metrics, I, I literally won't even look at it. Um, and I think that has helped me dodge a few bullets in the past and hopefully it will help you dodge some bullets for yourself as well. So first of all, let's quickly talk about them. Um, they're called the Gini Index and the Herfindel Hirschman Index or coefficient. So basically, if you're if we're looking at a, a subnet, so let's just get a little doodle pen out here. And let's say this is the entire whole uh, wallet distribution of of a, of a project. And let's say the top, that's not very symmetrical, is it? If I hold my pen, there we go. So let's say the top 100 holders is this segment, um, and then everyone else else is is the rest. So if for example, you had in the top 100, you had a bunch of wallets that look like this. That's not good because it basically shows you that four wallets have the, the, the vast majority of all, all of the alpha holdings in that. And it's the same with, you know, with the rest of the, the wallet distribution. You, you don't want to hide coefficient. So, so what we have up, up here is the Gini coefficient. And you want a, the lowest number possible there. And then you over... For when you're looking at the entire holding, this is where the, the HH, HHI comes in. So what you want is, you know, lots of evenly distributed accounts in the top 100, and then for the same thing um, for the whole project. And the way that I use to find that is tau.app. So if you open up tau.app and then configure your columns, it may not be there for you, um, scroll right down and it's down here, Genie and HHI. I, I've got rid of a load, a load of bollocks that you don't really need. But over here, so Genie, this shows you the top 100. So you click it a couple of times so you can put it in ascending or descending order. So if we look at the top one, that's Lead Poet. And so what this shows is that Lead Poet is the single best subnet out there in terms of distribution for the top 100. Um, you know, and it's one of the reasons it's my big, my personal biggest holding, um, and you know, and even that, it's, it's it's very well distributed. And we've got some lovely subnets here. We've got twenty seven, fifty, one two one ridges up there. Score like there, there's some good subnets here, uh, and typically, you know, it's fine if you're sort of mid pack. But if we if we look at it the other way, so look at this one point nine zero seventy seven. I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole because it's so highly concentrated. So it means that a few holders dominate. Uh, and, and typically, when you when you inverse this um, here and look at all of the, the, the bad genie ones, you know, typically a lot of the names you see, you know, toward the with high coefficients are not ones that you really want to deploy capital into. So HHI is another one. This shows you the whole picture. So if we click this a couple of times, so we know, okay, so here, here's a good one. Again, lead poets at the top, neural internet, ridges. Again, you've got all the lovely, great subnets up here. Everything above the fold looks good. Again, mid pack is, that, is absolutely fine. But again, let's look at this over here. When you look at the bad coefficients, it doesn't, it, it doesn't look good. So when we look at 105 here, it's a very bad coefficient for the HHI. And look at the Genie. The Genie is 0.84. So if we were to look at, yeah. So anyway, I hope this helps. This has definitely allowed me to dodge bullets in the past. There have been some subnets that have been you know, vying for, for, for inflows of, of some sort. And then I've realized, holy shit, they want me as exit liquidity because they're the only one in it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, good job, lead poet. Uh, this is purely coincidental. I have not gamed this at all. I haven't. <laughs> um, so yeah, good job, Gavin and Pranav. Right, cheerio, folks.